Hey guys, my name is Kent. Today I'm trying to fix my modded PS2. It took a crap. My modded fat PS2. I have it modded so I can play imports and PAL games. Um, and imported PlayStation 1 games. I have a mod chip installed in it. Um, a no solder mod chip. I just had to. I just had to clip it in. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. So this is a clip, clipped on, and these are a bunch of wires. Here's the actual mod chip. It's just taped to the board, and then it goes over here. And this is another clip clipped onto the BIOS chip of the motherboard. And this cord over here goes over here, and and, and this little chip piece here goes inside. Anyways, I'm trying to figure out why my PlayStation 2 is starting up it looks like it's working but I'm not getting any video or any audio it's just black screen then I reset it and then it's a red screen and you know I've tried different power cords different video cords different TV inputs and it's all the same verdict a black screen the first time and a red screen the second time um, I've done a lot of form reading and <clears throat> they say to test the fuses. So I got this mul multimeter or multimeter, I think it's a multimeter, for $4 on eBay in the mail the other day. And I read in a form to set it to 20K, which is that setting right there. There's lots of settings on here, and, all, and there's lots of different multimeters, so. And hopefully I've got these cords plugged in the right spot. Okay, so when you put these, one of these leads on each side of the fuse and you touch both sides of the fuse then this it goes to one when you put it to 20k for some reason it goes to one anyways it should go down to zero the meter should go down to zero one well it's already at one so hopefully it goes down to zero um, if the meter registers more than two or if you don't get any reading at all then the fuse is blown um, it says that the meter should act as if you when you if the fuse is good, then it should act as if you're touching the two LED, the two leads together. Okay, so there's some really tiny fuses on here, and I'm trying to test like all 15 of them or something like that. And I found a chart on online. This isn't exactly my motherboard, but it's kind of helping me find them. Uh, this one says that there's 15 fuses to check. These fuses are microscopic, some of them. I don't know how I would replace this fuse. I don't think I'd be able to. That little bastard right there. Focus. So I love Sony, but all my Sony shit's breaking lately. That little black one right there with the two silver things on each end, that's the first fuse to check. That's the PS1 fuse. It's so tiny. If it was, I'm glad it's not blown, or it's not reading as blown, because I don't know how I would replace it. Anyways, I got up to fuse number seven, which is this one right here. It's a little bit bigger. And it's not giving me any reading on it. So according to the forum, it is blown. And I have another broken PS2, same model. Stopped working and I tried to fix it and I broke it even more. So I bought this one um, for just like a year ago. I bought this one. So out of the 14 fuses that I could find and test, PS7 fuse, which is... An 8 volt regulator, 12 volt input. That one's the one that gave me problems. I was not getting any reading on that one, and I don't know how to get it out of there. I guess I'm going to try to pry it. Probably going to end up breaking another, breaking another PS2 motherboard. Damn it! Okay, so here's the little fuse, the little bastard fuse right here. I'm hoping this is the, the problem. I just kind of broke it out of there with a needle. And I'm gonna try to resolder. I'm gonna try to break the 
break the one out of my spare board and re-solder it. I haven't really soldered much before. I'm, my solder gun is the cheapest. Okay, so I got the other PS2 apart. Um, my old one. I think I remember what happened with this now. It's like it just stopped working and then I removed the mod chip and then the mod chip the, the desolder mod chip I think kind of messed up the wires a little bit or it messed up the messed up the connections here going to the board the non solder clip clips on here and I think when I pulled it off it disconnected a couple of these leads a couple of these wires and these little these little tiny wires here but I don't know what happened to it originally I think the BIOS went bad on it because I just tested all the fuses on it and all the fuses are good so I'm gonna go ahead and take this fuse off right here with the solder soldering iron so here's my four dollar soldering iron that I got off of eBay a couple years ago not a very sharp needle on it I'm gonna try to heat up these solder points to get this fuse out of here down here kinda wish I had a sharper needle I was able to fix a PS2 t controller to USB adapter with this and I wasn't able to fix an, a PS2 headset a Logitech SOCOM PS2 headset with it though and that's about the extent of my soldering 50% or one and one batting one and one so I used my solder gun and I just held it at the base of the fuse for a while until and put pressure on it until it got real hot and then it just kind of uh, popped up one end of the fuse and then I did it to the other side and it just and it popped off the other end of the fuse so the fuse just kind of just popped off, um, and then it took me about an, it took me forever to try to get it soldered back on the other PlayStation. I tested it; it's still testing good with the multimeter. So now I'm going to put the PlayStation 2 back together, and let's hope it works. All right, so I got it back together, except for the big screws and. I'm going to plug it in and see if it blows up or starts a fire. <laughs> so let's see if I was able to fix it. Cross your fingers. Okay, moment of truth. We got the red light going. Let's go. Oh, still the red screen. Ah. I thought this was gonna work. I wasted all day. Spent all day doing this. Okay, should I try to fix fix my PS3 now and my Xperia Play? So I haven't played my PS2 for months because I because we moved and um, I was gonna do a video the other day about these guns that I bought for my PS2. Just recently bought these things like a m couple months ago, maybe like two and a half months ago. I haven't even played with them that much. I was going to make a video about them. Because they've got... They've got blowback. Recoil, blowback, recoil, right? Well, I want to make a video, video on them the other day and plugged them into my PS2 and booted up my PS2 and they didn't. the recoil wasn't working. So I didn't know what was going on. And the, in the, So I turned off my PS2, turned my PS2 back on, and red screen, nothing but else but a red screen. Anyways, be careful with these. I had both of them plugged into the PS2 and I think these might have been the cause of it because they draw power for the kickback. You know, I've used it before without any problems, so it might not be related, but it might be related. Back to the drawing board. Okay, now I took it apart again and I swapped out the power supply from the other one just to try it. Both the power supplies seem to be good but I thought I would just try it. Um, I also disconnected my mod chip. I disconnected my solderless mod chip. So here it goes. Oh yeah, I, I tested that fuse too. 
the one that I replaced to see if it blew out again and it's still good. Um, the PS7 fuse, I tested that and it's still good. So I thought maybe it blew out that fuse again because there's something else wrong, but that's not the case either. Oh, here it goes. Here goes nothing. <gasps> Holy sh <laughs> Okay, so it started up, which means either it had a bad power supply or the mod chip went bad. So I'm gonna open it back up, put the mod chip back on, and see what happens. I was trying to test two things at once. So I'm gonna go open it back up, put the matcha back in, put it back together, try it again, and see if that fixes it. Okay, bye. Okay, so that took me 20 minutes to strip it down to the motherboard again and re-plug in the uh, solderless mod chip. Unfortunately, I broke this thing off, but it doesn't need it. It just makes it look better. Um, let's see if it's my mod chip, or if it was the power supply. We'll know now. I really hope it's not my my mod chip because. Some of my favorite games to play on my PlayStation are imported games, which only work on my on my USA PlayStation because of my mod chip. I can play uh, games like the Kite Satsuken, which I did a uh, video on previously. And here goes. Booting it up. Red screen of death. So, my mod chip took a. The mod chip is more expensive than PlayStation 2's are nowadays. Fuck. So I guess I gotta order another mod chip. Or try to figure out what's wrong with this one. Okay, I've been working on this all damn day. Um, so what I found out is that my... solderless DMS4 EZI mod chip is taking a crap basically it's uh, corrupt um, I did find other people saying that they had this red complete red screen solid red screen problem with the DMS4 lots of people have had it um, some people are able to reflash their card reflash the DMS4 a mod chip and I tried to do that I was actually able following the instructions I was actually able to get in there by uh, hitting the reset button three times after starting it up and then I was able actually to get into my PlayStation um, with it with the mod chip hooked up to the PlayStation so I was able to get into my PlayStation but then it it wouldn't boot off of the CD so I couldn't reflash it so then I found out a, a way to uh, put the ISO on an, uh, a flash drive or a USB drive a USB thumb drive and then I, I reflash it but that didn't fix it and then I tried to uh, put on the original DMS4 firmware back on there and, and erase the toxic uh, firmware that was on there and that uh, went on there, but then I tried to erase erase it like some tutorial said. I tried to erase the firmware using the DMS4's uh, stock firmware, and it and it aired out. And then I I tried to write it, rewrite it again, and it aired out. So it, it just appears that my my card is toast and I guess this has happened to a lot of people before so I uninstalled the card again I must have taken that PS3 part like six times six or seven times today or that PS2 I keep taking it apart putting it back together taking it apart putting it back together um, now I'm working on getting an HD loader going on because apparently with HD loader it's a program that you can you can put on your PS2 um, it's like a soft mod, a software mod for your PS2 that you, allows you to play um, all region games 
if you get it dumped onto this hard drive. So I am putting games now on a hard drive inside of my PC. I'm going to take this hard drive out of my PC, put it in my PS2, and see how it works. See if this works. So something just aired out. All right, so that's where I'm at. Let's keep going. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Holy cow. So I'm not going to remove this chip. I'm just basically just going to unplug it because last time I removed it from my old PS2 uh, to put it on my new used PS2, I broke the PS2 board. So that PS2 board, I broke a little few of the solder points that go on to like one of the the CPU or something like that by taking off this clamp on solderless mod chip it kind of broke some pins but the the mod chip clamps stayed intact and I was able to install it on the new PS2 um, and it worked for a couple a year maybe a year and a half um, but now the mod chip is broken or fried or the something's corrupt in the in the memory and it won't it won't flash right or rewrite or erase right so I did use it in the past to help get some files on the memory card so I basically I, I use my mod chip to soft mod my machine so my machine is soft modded but I don't really like the soft modding because it it doesn't it has a lot of problems playing games while well. this mod chip this mod chip would play every game perfectly PS1 games every region PS2 games every region um, but the soft mod has a lot of issues apparently with the com a game compatibility. But I'm gonna have to do that with this PS2 because I, I if I get a new card, then I have to remove this one and it's gonna probably break this PS2. So the only really option I have to do is to do is to continue with the soft mod and try the HD loader if I want to play um, <clears throat> multi-region games or buy another whole PS2 and another whole mod chip which I might do if this HD loader doesn't work out good. So I just got my my light gun set up here in the closet in our new house. I just got it set up. I, I just got this light gun stand here just a little bit ago. Before I got that it was it, my light gun TV was basically unusable because it was sitting right in the bed like it is in this video. You had to stand on the bed or stand a foot from the TV um, so I just got this, and I just got these light guns, um, like I reviewed, and then I just got these new light guns that I wanted to review. So I'm just like building all of my st for my PS2, and then my PS2 f dies. Ugh. I've only had this PS2 for like a year and a half. Well, I guess it wasn't the PS2 though; it was the mod chip, which I have had for like 11 years now or something. But I haven't really used it that, I don't know, I haven't used it that much because I've been playing a bunch of other games. Okay, so I dumped like 10 light gun games, PS2 light gun games on this hard drive and I took it out of the computer and I put it in the PS2 and now the PS2 is not recognizing it. it says there's no hard drive in there. So... I think I'm done. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh my gosh, it's working. I just had to put a jumper on the hard drive to make it master. It was set to slave because it was a spare hard drive in, in the wife's computer. HD Loader said that the max hard drive you could put in is 137 gigabytes. Well, this is a 250 gigabytes and it seems to be working fine. Um, I'm running the Kaisatsuken right now. Um, which is a Japanese version of Police 911, which I made a video about previously. They don't have a USA version of this. Just a Japanese and a PAL, and the PAL doesn't work with the camera. This is my fav probably my favorite PS2 game. Because it's like a virtual reality game. Alright, I'm going to try to play it. So I can't play any PS, any foreign PlayStation 1 games on it, or any burnt PlayStation 1 games on it, but, so that kind of stinks, but 
At least I can play every region PlayStation 2 games. So it's working awesome. I'm really happy with it. This is only one game I've tried with it. It's the first game though. It's the most important game really. It's the game that I like to play the most on my PlayStation 2 lately. I would have to buy either a Japanese console to play it or use this mod or get a mod chip. So, right on. <laughs> Have fun, good night.